As data has become the currency of our age, it is important to be able to handle it and use it as easily as possible. With data virtualization, you can query external data like it was local in your database. This allows you to save on storage costs, explore and analyze the unstructured data through relational abstraction, and avoid expensive ETL setups. You can also use it to distribute commonly used datasets with a single shared copy. Let's see it in action. We're looking at a Power BI report showing a decline in sales. The data behind this report is our standard operational reporting database. We want to cross-reference this decline in sales with COVID-19 data publicly available on Azure. We will preview the data by using the open row set command supplied with the URL to the Azure Blob Storage. And our result contains the top 10 rows and it also indicates which are the columns and how the data looks like. Let's make sure this is really a remote scan. Yes, it is. So we are in fact querying a parquet file on Azure Blob Storage. In order to see this in Power BI, we want to create an external table. In order to do that, we first want to see what are the data types of these columns. We can use the SP described first result set, which will take the sample of data and try to infer the data types. You can notice that for some of the Varkar columns, it uses 8,000 characters, but we think these may be shorter. So we could go ahead and execute something that selects max length for some of these columns to just to make sure. And yes, our columns are indeed shorter, which we'll use when defining the external table in order to improve performance. Let's go ahead. We will create the external file format. We will create the external data source. And then we will use that to create the external table itself. Let's test what we did. We will include the execution plan and select top 100 rows. As we can see, there's a remote scan. And the data is there, but it's worldwide. We care only about the US, so let's create a view where we will further filter the data. In our view, we will filter only the USA and we'll take out negative values and nulls, which I noticed during my data exploration. Making sure everything is all right. And yes, it is. Let's go to Power BI and include this data into our report. Now let's add the external table as a data source to our report. We'll query our managed instance directly. We're interested in the COVID-19 view. And now we're going to relate our external COVID data with sales data in our operational reporting table. We're now ready to display the COVID-19 cases on top of our sales data. By joining the external COVID data with our operational sales information, we can see that COVID was affecting sales much more in the previous years than it is today. We can conclude that our sales actually returned to pre-COVID levels. Data virtualization has taken the Polybase concept and rebuilt it for the cloud so that you can have a fully managed experience. The technology behind it is shared between Synapse SQL Managed Instance and SQL Server 22. With data virtualization, we go beyond the polybase capabilities with performance benefits of partition elimination and predicate pushdown. For more information about data virtualization, follow the link below. Thanks for watching.